I'm David Charvet with Charvet Classic Cars. We're in the showroom today with a 1956 Mercedes-Benz 190 SL Roadster. The most amazing thing about this car is that it has had one owner from new. Now take a closer look and I'll be back to tell you more. Mercedes-Benz introduced the 190SL Roadster in May of 1955, and they were built really through 1963. However, in uh, the summer of 1956, a young man named Tony, who was 25 years old, walked into the Mercedes dealership on Van Ness Avenue in San Francisco and said he wanted to buy a new 190SL Roadster. Well, initially they tried to sell him a 300 SL, but Tony was being frugal, being as a 300 SL sold for around $7,000. Uh, he opted for the 190 SL, which at the time sold for right around $4,000. Uh, his family was in the uh, lumber business and the logging business, and Tony had worked and worked and worked and saved his money and plunked down about $4,000 cash to buy this car again in 1956. And the amazing thing is, he kept it until he passed away uh, in the spring of 2024. So this car has had one owner for 68 years, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, the 190s were really a, a hot rod. They were, of course, not quite as elaborate as the 300 SL, but they held their own. It's a uh, inline four-cylinder, single overhead cam engine, 1897cc, and it creates 104 horsepower, which translates to a road speed, top speed, uh, around 107 miles an hour, which is as fast as you'll probably want to go. Uh, Tony kept the car. Uh, he lived in California, then moved to Oregon, and finally to Washington State. And he kept this car as a member of the family. It really was babied by him. And because he had mechanical aptitude from working around machinery and the lumber business, he did most of his own maintenance. And uh, parts were acquired, of course, from the dealers and later from Mercedes-Benz Classics in Los Angeles. And there are receipts for things that he had done to the car. And again, it is a really nice package. Uh, the car was painted probably 30 years ago in its correct original white color. Uh, it presents really nicely. Again, it's not fresh paint, but it looks really nice. It's shiny. I've buffed it a little bit and it's very good. There's no cracking, there's no checking. The only thing I've noticed a slight bit of variance in color on the car, and that is, I believe, from fading, possibly being in the garage and having light coming in a little bit on this front right side and around the front nose, but that's very minimal. It's very hard to see, and again, it certainly doesn't detract from the car itself. Uh, the top was replaced, I know, in 2019. Uh, it's a correct black black canvas top, and I've actually loosened up the top here so I can open it up for you. And I believe I may have been maybe the first person to put this top down after it was put on the car. And the rear window is lovely. 
it works easily. It's just a really nice package all around. All the chrome is original. It's bright. It's not pitted. It again, it presents very, very nicely. Uh, the visors, the sun visors, which are a tinted plastic, show a little bit of shrinkage because they are original. And after this many years, that's to be expected. However, there's a brand new set of inserts, new plastic inserts are in the trunk. Also in the trunk uh, is the original jack. I believe an original spare tire on the rim. Also, an original tool roll. I believe it's the original tool roll to the car. It appears to be complete and it's again comes with the car. Also all of the manuals for the car that were issued when it was sold come with the car as well. Uh, the tires are older. They are Firestone bias plies. They're a 650 13 size tire and I've driven the car at uh, speeds up to about 40 miles an hour. I would probably replace the tires if I were going to drive this thing at uh, freeway speeds, which I have not done. But again, it runs nicely. It's, they say, just a really nice package. And the originality is something you can't find in cars that have been restored. This car has just been really well maintained all of its life. The interior is the original leather. It again presents very nicely. It's not been refinished. It's not been re-dyed. It's all original and it's what we call an honest car. It's a very honest car. What you see is what you get and then nothing is hidden and it's really, really a nice package. The undercarriage is clean, it's tidy, and again, just someone who totally cared about this car and kept it and yes, they used it, and but they didn't abuse it because this car only has 66,000 miles and so less than a thousand miles a year of use which has kept it in great shape. So now let's take it out for a drive. Four-speed transmission on the floor Release the brake, and off we go. It shifts very easily. It's a nice throaty exhaust. The turn signals, of course, are in the cornering. Uh, to make a left turn, you turn the horn ring up. If you have any questions about this Mercedes or any of the other cars that we offer, feel free to give me a call at 503-309-7729.
or find us online at charvetclassiccars.com. I'm David Charvet. Thanks for watching.